Yo, what up? I'm back at you. Yes, I'm about to get into a little story, and uh, this story kind of pisses me off, but it's going to be all good. We're going to get through this, and I'm going to let y'all know what's really going on, what's going on with the tea. We're going to add the little receipts and everything all up in here and all this, that, and the third. And the uh, reason why I say this story kind of pisses me off because, you know, I'm a... Um, I'm an alumnus of a fellow HBCU of Winston-Salem State University. Yes, I had to wear the cap and everything. And um, this actually takes place at North Carolina Central University. And um, it's actually about an hour and a half away from the school that I went to. And uh, this is where you have uh, a white girl who has the whole campus pretty much terrified because of a post that she put up under one of the um, ABC... Uh, news uh reports basically saying um that she wished she could take credit for the obama and clinton bomb threats and uh, packages that were sent and everything so baby tad she pretty much screenshotted all these shots and uh it ended up being a Riley News report and everything. And here we are right now reporting this shit from my car TV from my motherfucking perspective, okay? So, boom. A white law student at a historically black university in North Carolina told classmates she wished she could take credit for the pipe bomb sent to several prominent black Democrats. Riley's WRAL reported the students uh, at Durham, North Carolina Central University feel unsafe around their classmates, Morgan Kendall, after she used anti-racial uh, slurs and expressed violent sentiments on Facebook posts, okay? And it says, in quotations, I wish I could take credit, Kendall wrote on a post about bombs sent to former President Barack Obama and Secretary Hillary Clinton, like I had just ever mentioned, Okay. North Carolina Central Law students met with their dean and the campus um, police chief to address their concerns about their classmate. Uh, and Jasmine McSween basically writes, uh, what well, she says to the dean, I think she should be kicked out of law school. I just don't think that she's, I don't, I just don't think that it's fair for someone with those sentiments to receive a degree from this school that was founded by the very people that she has disrespected multiple times. Okay, I feel you on that, Jasmine McSween, because... I've been going up to the dean, too, and this bitch must stay off campus. That's the reason why she getting away with this shit, because I'm pretty sure it's some girls over that motherfucker ready to drag the shit out of her. Anywho, let me continue going on. So, the students told the WRAL that the uh, school barred Kendall from attending class for the rest of the week, but she should return to uh, class the following week. Bitch, a word of advice, keep your ass at home before you get drug out here. In these damn streets, okay? That's just a little fair one. I know they put you on a little suspension or whatnot, but it would behoove you, bitch, to not bring your ass on campus. I'm pretty sure, because I, I done been right there in North Carolina Central. It's right there and smack dab in the middle of the hood, okay? So, you know, the people, they, they gonna be looking for your fucking ass, all right? Anywho, um... Uh, and so Anastasia Mebbin, she writes, that's not an adequate response, uh, you know, pretty much to the dean and everything. So they done pulled up the woman's LinkedIn page and everything. And um, she lists herself as a law student at North Carolina Central Law School, uh, School of Law. And, um, you know, pretty much she has uh, a concealed handgun permit and she's associated with the Nas uh, National Rifle Association, the NRA. So, you got all this going on or whatever on the dang on campus and everything. So, let's read out some of the dang on things that she wrote in the post and stuff. So, so Jamal Haley writes, How sway? Someone's never been called an N-word or jump for being black. And my personal favorite, you can't carry a gun, you're black. So, this is one of her, one of her little buddies, you know, saying, being real sarcastic under the post and stuff. So, then Morgan Kendall comes back, but that N-word can still vote. Drive and go to school, right? Not racism. First off, bitch, you don't need to be using that fucking word, okay? And that word alone, you should be scared to bring your ass on campus, okay? That's all I really got to say about that. Anywho, Martin Alonzo writes at Jamal Haley, It's a lost cause, bro. Laugh out loud. Don't even try because she's never wrong. So then Morgan Kendall, she comes back, you know, pretty much atting the guy. Ashley, I'm wrong sometimes. Now you say it. So... You know, he opted to not even go down that dang on uh, road or whatever, Mr. Uh, Mr. Dang on uh, Martin Alonzo, because he's like, I ain't even trying to get into that right there. 
Jolanda Kendall writes, I thought I was done discussing politics and such on Facebook, but you've awakened the beast. I'm honestly just confused as why you'd even type that word and feel it's okay. Racism manifests itself in many ways daily in this country, and you thinking it, you can freely use that word lets me know that you're uh, well aware of that, okay? So, I'm, I'm with Miss Dang on Jelana Kendall here, bitch. You, you well aware that that word is not cool in this day and age. And Miss uh, Morgan Kendall, you do know that that motherfucking word is not okay to use, okay? And that's that's the reason why you're using it or whatever. Because you want to incite and you want to strike up some dang on stuff. But you didn't know the bitch is going to pull your motherfucking receipts and turn your ass the fuck in. And that dean or whatever, y'all need to be booting that bitch up out of school. Don't put her ass in no damn suspension because she needs to be gone, okay? So then, Crystal Tillman writes, You're so ignorant. For you to say that black and brown people do not experience hurdles due to our ethnicity is simply untrue. Aside from being killed and targeted by cops, we're still experiencing the, effect, the adverse effects of slavery. How? Glad you asked. As L mentioned earlier, Racism is systemic. There are policies and practices that were, in, that were created to hinder us from expelling and um, still are enforced today. You are in law school, so you should be well aware of that. I could spend my time writing a book informing you about our hurdles, but it's not my job. Take the time to actually do your own research. So then Morgan Kendall replies back to Miss Crystal and is like, No, boo, you're playing the black card. That makes you ignorant. No, bitch, you're ignorant, okay? Then Crystal Tillman uh, writes, I, Wait, I know she just didn't type N-word. Then Morgan Kendall, she comes back and like, Okay, why can one person type N-word and, and not another? Are you racist? And that's her dang on question. So, so boom, let's get all the way up into it. Um, this right here needs to be taken to dang on um student affairs. It needs to be taken to the dean. It needs to be uh taken to the chancellor, all the way, all the way up to the motherfucking chancellor, and to the dang on board of of trustees too, because. You know, you can't be having these types of situations that's putting our uh, students, you know, in danger and everything like that. Like, for real, for real. Like, you got a racist that's actually in the school of law that is actually sitting here and citing this kind of bullshit on Facebook and then thinking that she was not going to be able to um, be found and, you know, clock for her shit or whatever. Well, we live in a day and age where social media, it is nothing for people to go dang on. Pull up all your dang on receipts, okay? You can try and hide, but you can't because it's a dang on motherfucker out there that's ready to pull all your dang on shit. And then to come to find out that, you know... You're using the N-word freely in the way that you are. That's just crazy as hell to me. That's crazy that you will be even amongst all of these black people getting a free education. Because I'm pretty sure, bitch, you're getting some type of dang on uh, scholarship or some type of minority money. Because that's what the fuck y'all do. Y'all hoes, go to uh, get, uh, get that fucking minority money. Go to the HBCUs because, you know, if y'all go to a regular... Uh, PWI, y'all gonna be paying out the Wazoo and all that. So y'all will come get the minority money from the HBCUs so y'all can use that and then y'all take the degree, run with it, get your motherfucking job and stuff, and then don't show uh, the university no kind of love, respect, or anything like that. Bitch, I'm done with all of y'all or whatever, you know what I'm saying? And I feel like that HBCUs, we need to do a better job of vetting these motherfuckers because you do not know who is coming up into your school nowadays, especially with these uh, neo-Nazi motherfuckers and everything like that. Like, it's it's all kind of racist people out here. And then the fact that this bitch is about to dang on, you know, walk across the stage or whatever, wherever she is in her law school career. She's in the school of law, so she got to be somewhere about to, you know, do something, walk across, and she's just getting in the program or something. And y'all did not know this or whatever. Hell, you would think that y'all would be investigating your own motherfucking students. Y'all have to do this whole big, long, drawn-out process to get into the school of law, so... Why, why did y'all not pick up on that particular situation right there and did not know that she was a racist? But I understand that people wear a mask all types of ways, but I'm pretty sure she got, you know, she got all kind of records of shit like this, you know what I'm saying, all across the net. This ain't the first time that she done posted something like that right there, and this ain't the first time that she's felt something like that. Y'all should have been checking her Snapchat, Twitter, Instagram, every damn thing, just to kind of see what kind of person that she was. It goes a whole lot further than damn references and things like that. Y'all got to do a much better job. That's just period. 
or whatever because somebody could really get hurt and then who knows you know what i'm saying this bitch could really retaliate or whatever and actually make a bomb or something like that and then send it to the school and then now you got the school you know people in danger in this particular situation you never know what people's intentions are or whatever. And like I say, for this bitch to write it out, then you never know what her next steps is going to be as a retaliation or whatever. So I would say for, you know, the school, y'all do need to kick her ass out, but y'all also need to step it up when it comes to security and things like that and making sure that, you know, y'all don't um let fools like this you know what I'm saying, on campus or whatever, and all y'all students and stuff that is on campus, y'all need to make sure y'all doing y'all job to protect y'all selves if y'all see this bitch anywhere lurking or whatever. Y'all need to be ready, on site, honey, or whatever, because you don't know what she is capable of with her writing these kind of statements and things like that and thinking that it's okay. No, bitch. And y'all would be a motherfucking fool to let her stay in that dang on school law. Y'all got to be crazy. What kind of morals and standards is the dang on HBCUs uh, having these dang on days? What kind of standards are, are we having? You got you to gotta sit and ask that if, if y'all continue to let her um, go through this fucking program. Because that's going to be setting a bad example for, you know what I'm saying, your students that are there. And that's going to make... Uh, the students not trust y'all as, as, as leaders and as people that are supposed to be overseeing the university. Plus, on top of that, it's going to make the parents and stuff all up in a frenzy as well. I'm just saying, like, all money not good money, you know what I'm saying? All students, you know, all GPAs ain't, ain't the best, okay? Because I'm pretty sure the bitch came in there with some type of uh, big-ass GPA or something like that and, and the best re references and things, but... Like I say, we got to do a better job of vetting. And I'm pretty sure y'all done had some more motherfucking racists come through that program uh, and, and get the law degree. But you don't know who the hell is who. But this bitch right here has done showed her hand. I'm expecting you all to get rid of her motherfucking ass. And that's all I got to say about that. I love you all. Hit the subscribe button and uh, bye.